I'm Princesa Van Buren Hansen. I'm head of the science department here at Breck and I teach the advanced science research classes. We're really fortunate at Breck. We have three amazing advanced research programs in the upper school. We have advanced science research. We also have advanced history research and advanced math research. These programs are largely for juniors and seniors and it allows students to delve really deep in a topic that they're interested about. In our history research this year, the students are spending a lot of time learning about the native culture within Minnesota. In Math for Social Change, the students get out in the community and they engage on projects that apply what they know about math and can put it in a real world setting. In terms of science research, we have projects that vary from looking at aquaponics to prostate cancer, and so it's fascinating to see students take everything they've learned, but then take it that much farther. One of the things that I'm very passionate about with our research programs is the students don't just do science, but they have to write about it. They draft a research plan. They have to consider math and statistics. How are they developing what they're gonna do? How do they do appropriate replications and trials? We want students not to just learn the concepts, but to actually work with them hands-on so that they really have an understanding of what they're learning, but always in this bigger picture context of how does it fit in the rest of the world and how do I talk about it? As we look at science education at Breck, we look at it comprehensively, where what students learn in each grade allows them to advance to the next stage. Students will learn coding in kindergarten, and then they'll revisit it in a couple years, and next thing you know, they're using Java in science research. They learn energy principles early, and then they apply it to wind tunnel experiments that they do, and then they apply it again in physics, and then they maybe use it in their research project. And so we try to very thoughtfully bring these various themes forward so that students can remember it again, you know? So they can be in their fifth grade science class going, oh, that's right, remember to study in this a couple years ago and put those pieces together. I love seeing the light bulb go off. I love the aha moments. I love seeing those challenging days become days in which we can have exciting pride because we were able to persevere and do something. We were able to discover something new by trying to figure out why something didn't work. And our strong academic program from the lower school all the way through the upper school really prepares students for this experience. And to really, really be confident moving into college that they're fully prepared for everything that they're gonna see.